most bacteria that cause diseases in freshwater aquarium fish are part of the environmental flora and they do not cause a problem. However, fish that are stressed by one or more factors such as high stocking density, excessive feeding, poor water quality, parasites, temperature changes, transport or handling etc. may have compromised immune systems, making them more susceptible to bacterial infections and mortality can be significant if stress is not controlled. Clinical signs for most bacterial disease are not indicative and cause of a disease based on clinical signs alone is not sufficient if not impossible. Fish frequently may appear lethargic and inappetent. Definitive diagnosis of bacterial disease requires to culture the organism and run sensitivity tests. The gross signs of disease are hemorrhagic septicemia, thin erosion, eye opacity, exophthalmos, papi, eye rupture, erosion of the jaw's mouth, distended abdomen etc. Antibiotic therapy is only feasible in the very early course of the disease. Once the disease has spread in the aquarium the only viable options are to destock and sanitize the contents of the affected aquarium. Before antibiotics are even considered, sources of stress must be removed or reduced. Treatment should be started as soon as possible, since outbreaks can rapidly move through a population. There is only one over-the-counter antimicrobial product registered for use in tropical fish in New Zealand, API Furan 2. Furan 2 contains two broad-spectrum antimicrobials, doxycycline hiclate and nitrofurazone. To achieve the most effective result when using the Furan 2 in a bath treatment follow directions as stated.